Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Valagar Alavane, back for some more Dungeons and Dragons Online. So again, here we are in Necropolis. Now this is the Upper Necropolis. Uh, if you didn't watch the previous one, you can access this place either through the Guild Airship, selecting the Far Shifter, or you can head all the way through House Fjarlan to the north section, and that'll take you to the lo Lower Necropolis. And then you just gotta run to the far north of that, and it'll port you up here. So the quest we're doing here is uh, the Flesh Makers quest. And it is bestowed by Lowen. And we're going to head on out there. So it's, again, it's fairly short to get there. Uh, you do have to run past, uh, if you watched the previous one, you'll have to run past two great uh, slayers, which are the Rats and the Caravan. Now these are great because they have large amounts of enemies in a very close amount of space. And often this is done to level up characters if you need a little extra experience before level up as they are close to the start and can be done really, really well. So if you watched the previous video, you'll notice uh, the same two guys here were just uh, joining me for some more here. And we're gonna hit up, uh, hit that up. So again, in order to head to Flesh, you want to make an immediate left. And you're going to want to run almost to the same path, uh, right up to where the rats were. But instead of heading left to uh, go south, we're going to actually head right to go north. So we're going to follow the road here first. And there's our caravans. So for this one, you just fight the guys, fight the caravans. Once the caravan dies, it will spawn in a wave of people. And so as you can see, a lot of people real quick. So if you watch the previous one, you'll notice outside of doing the caravan and rats, like heading to those locations, we didn't do a lot of uh, Slayer. So essentially we got 97 Slayer uh, just about from doing just the two Slayers. If you missed the other one, the rats are actually up at the top of this hill here. And again, to know if they're up, you want to make sure you see at least four rats. So if there's any less than four, that rare is not up. All right, so here we are. So we're gonna start by heading a little bit west. We're gonna curve around and head north up around the hill. And we're just gonna follow this road all the way up to that uh, building up on the cliff edge. And that will be our entrance to the quest. Now, one thing to point out, uh, as you'll know, running most with me, that I like to use my lightning rune arm. Unfortunately, with flesh golems, they are actually, not only are they immune to the damage, but it will heal them and haste them. So using lightning damage, so lightning bolt or anything like that against flesh golems, definitely isn't a good idea. So the first thing we need to do is head north, dropping right down, and we'll have a few rats in here. So we're going to follow the path, there's not really any deviation. Follow them right up until we head on up the ladder. Now, we do got a fungus for those collectible whores like myself. The 
Alright, so at this point, we want to open up our door, head on in. Now, once we kill these guys here, you'll notice that the, the normal zombies, they're just kind of on a collision course heading down here. And we do have poison jets, so if you're not immune to poison damage, you will want to kind of make your way through the water which does have two fungus patches down here as well. If you are a Warforge, have your improved Construct Essence or anything like that, of course you can just walk right through. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna head around the corner, have a few more guys. Now, you do have two directions to go. If you have someone who can pick the lock, you can actually just head north. However, if you're unsure, you do want to head south through the door here and it will actually lead you all the way to the end hall and it will have a key sitting on the chest that you can pick up and avoid uh, avoid having to pick the lock so if you can't pick the lock or if you don't have anybody who can you can head up that way So at that point, you're going to want to pull this lever and hop down the shaft, continuing north. Now, we do have a couple of traps right here, but you also have immediately a few cultists shooting you. So it can be a little difficult to get them if you don't have any range damage, as they're not going to stop shooting, stopping you from getting those control panels. So this first set of blades does have two boxes. The second set has only one box, but again, as you'll see, more guys shoot. Just continue all the way north, and there'll be a ladder to your right. Up the ladder, and you're going to want to cross over. Now, we do have a door here. And this will actually go up and around, leading us back to that main hall where we drop down. So if you think you have enough uh, lockpick, or you have somebody in your party who can, but it turns out you're unable to, you would just head on up the ladder and head through that path there, and then go pick up your key. So it does give you a way, that way you're not completely locked out. and kind of stuck. Now, once you reach this assembly area, as you'll notice, there are a lot of guys who have crowns. Um, typically speaking, you end up with a lot of, a lot of champions in here, and a lot of them end up dropping rems or rem chests. So it definitely is a fairly okay spot to farm them, but, I mean, it is also a bit longer to get here, so, I mean, overall, not the greatest place to farm it, but not a terrible place either. Alright, so, continuing here, north we have a shrine. South is going to proceed on our quest. Now again, we're going to reach this room. It's going to spawn in a, our guy. Careful if you're fighting him right in the center. Uh, right when he gets up, he is going to launch a giant electrical attack from the top. Which can cause damage, so just be aware. And again, these guys tend to be champions and tend to drop rem chests or remnants from here you're going to want to continue east into this room now you can grab i mean i always do but you also actually need to just head up the ramp here and talk to the flesh maker once you talk to the flesh maker 
you will be able to proceed on. Uh, and you'll, if you'll notice there where Dawes was uh, swinging his sword, there's actually an optional that I will show you at the end of the quest that'll have you drop down. So this one here, there are two sides, north and south. Each side is essentially the same. Uh, so you head down them, and there is a lever that you need to pull. Now there are also lightning and golems. So you gotta watch out. I definitely don't recommend fighting in the middle of the rooms. Uh, either the hallways like I'm standing in right now, or right along the wall's edge like uh, Phoenix is. And you wanna fight all the way up to the door, head on in, and here's our first lever. So there'll also be a lever on that other side, uh, which Dazu has hidden, which he actually just got. And once both levers are pulled, it will open up our door into our final chamber. Now in here, you're gonna wanna head up the ladder. So there's again, one on the south, one up on the north, and it will take you up top. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky and require a little bit of timing on your part. So there are a total of five runes. So there's one on this crystal here, one on each of those back, and one on these. So the big giant purple crystals, they have runes on them. You need to pull all five runes at approximately the same time. So typically you have people signing, like lined up, and then you pull them. So one, two, three, pull. As you see, and then they'll head over to those ones, and they'll pull those ones. Um, timing is you can get about three of them before the time sets out. If you are too slow, all it does is you just gotta wait for them to reset and re-go at them. Once you do get them all pulled, it spawns in our boss. Take them out, easy peasy. Again, another fairly quick quest for a large amount of experience. In the chest, uh, as before, you can get these frame pieces which you then use to be able to fill up your sigil, which we'll get into another part, which I'll talk about more in depth later. Once you've completed the quest, what happens is if you want, you can actually backtrack a little ways. You'll notice our lightning also shuts off here. Um, but you'll, you'll be able to backtrack a little bit here to where we were talking to the flesh maker and the hole in the floor will now have opened up. So right here, just hop up here, talk to him and there he goes. So he'll open up his warehouse. Now again, we have some grates where you can slide down and it's going to put you down to the bottom here. Now what's going to happen is it's going to just start spawning in a whole bunch of enemies. It'll also have coming out of these columns it will have some lightning trap damage so if you're quick on a trapper type you will be able to hit all the all of them which ultimately will be beneficial for you as there won't be anything to heal and haste the golems. So if you do have a trapper, I do recommend grabbing these as fast as possible. Just makes the fighting that much easier. And that's kind of this optional. It's you're, you're in here. You gotta fight, kill, fight again, kill. Eventually it will open up our door here to the west and we'll be able to get another chest now unlike a lot of quests that only have the end chest dropping sigil pieces uh, this one here will also drop sigil pieces so if you are looking for a specific one either that comes out of this quest or one of the four random ones uh, this is a, a fairly decent option to farm as it does guarantee it a, a drop
So as you can see, a lot of waves. And again, with Reaper, it does mean a lot of chance for one champions, but a lot of chances for Reapers to spawn as well. Um, we actually should be nearing our last wave here. <laughs> and yes, you can also get uh, shield and tome pieces from these this optional here as well. Uh, such as Shield Fragment 8. Um, these ones can drop again from any of the Slayer quests, or any of the Slayer champions, or again in the end chest as well. And that's this quest. Hope you guys enjoyed. And the optional, a lot of people tend to skip this one. I know I myself also tend to skip this one. But it's a simple enough optional to do, just time consuming. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. Have a good one all.